Hello, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Advice from a Distance, a fan, and this is my special guest today. <laughs> yes. I'm super excited. <laughs> Yo, you guys have no idea. Okay, you want to introduce yourself? What up, though, everybody? I'm Hope Adobe. I'm from the 313, and I'm a musician. Period. <laughs> <laughs> And I would call you an Instagram model too, cause you're you're so oh, cute, shit. Thank super you so adorable, much. super adorable. You guys, you guys already see that for yourself. Aww. So, um, <laughs> uh, let me ask you this first: mm -hmm. When did you start your music career, or when did you know that music um, was a passion of yours? Yeah. So, at the tender age of about tenderoni, I know <laughs> I was a young kid. I've always been in a musical family, a very artistic family. Uh, my father was a DJ, and he went to um, a technical school for that. And then my mother just was always a music head, like really into jazz, really into hip hop, really into a mix of everything, gospel music. Super eclectic. So yeah, so when I was four, I think my mother discovered my voice, and my mama always used to say she discovered it before that. She said when I was a baby, I used to like scream to the top of my lungs. Oh my gosh. And she knew that I was gonna be a singer. A big voice is such a small body. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think about around four, I think that's the earliest age I remember singing, like Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston and my that's, mother what are you, just, Those are like your biggest influences? I would say- well, Who's like your favorite artist? My favorite artist is Brandy. Oh of my all God, time, I When I was a kid, that. I thought I was Brandy. <laughs> I used to watch Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella, and I, I know every word to this day. I know all the songs. I really thought I was Brandy. Like, uh, yeah, so my I mother played up on that all the time. She used to always make me watch uh, Cinderella, and I'm glad she did, though, because right. that was literally the chocolate girl of right, that, right, of that era, era that you know time, what I'm right. saying? So yeah. I did it. Uh-huh. Oh, that's super <laughs> amazing. So Brandy's one of your biggest influences mm -hmm. and favorite slash favorite artist. Mm -hmm. um, so what about as far as the hip hop side would go? Mm -hmm. Because do would you have any influences um, from that side or is it just something that comes to you that's like, this is me in hip hop and that's yeah. it. Definitely what made me, I remember the first time I wanted to be a rapper, my mother was obsessed with 3-6 Mafia. Oh my God. And so she used to play 3-6 Mafia all the time. And I remember that album they had with that one song, I gotta stay fly, uh, 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 uh. That entire yeah. album, my mama used to play that. She used to play that like on <laughs> our way to school, picking us up from school, on the way to, to the doctor, she would play that song right. everywhere. Right. So I remember being young and hearing that song and hearing the whole album and thinking to myself like, wow, I really want to be these guys. And right. I remember seeing the music video and thinking to myself, this is the coolest music video I ever seen in my life. <laughs> and so I also remember when they won a Grammy for, um, their songs in that one movie, Hustle and Flow. Mm -hmm. And then so 3-6 Mafia just really influenced me because they kind of broke barriers beyond what they, what people expect them to do. Absolutely. And that's what I really appreciated about hip hop. You see, even Tupac, he was an actor. And I just saw how versatile hip hop artists were and how they had all this space to really be creative in all these other arenas. And I start thinking to myself, wow, I can sing, I can act, I like to model, I wanna do all these things. So, you know, it just makes sense to incorporate hip hop into it because they seem to have more leeway to do all those other things. I, don't I know. so, <laughs> no, I really do, I super duper understand. Mm -hmm. I came from um, vocals myself. So it's like growing up, my whole life I was in the church and you know, doing all the vocals and stuff like that. My mom's a singer, my grandmother's a singer, so mm -hmm. I grew up with like that all around me all the time. But <clears throat> it got to a point where I'm like, okay, singing is a little bit too structured. Mm -hmm. Like it's too a little bit too technical in a way. <laughs> like is. when you hit the studio and stuff, it's like there's a lot more that you have to focus on that you have to do instead of just being expressive with your words because that's what it turned into. Like, I just want to express myself. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm going to just rap. If I want to do some oohs and ahs <laughs> on the background, then I'll do some oohs. Exactly. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
know what I'm saying? <laughs> so um, as far as like, what can we look forward to? Like, do you have anything that you want to promote right now? Right now, I just want to tell my fans that there's music coming. Just wait for it. When when the fall hits, you know? It's over. It's over. The it's summertime over. is really my time to just be 100% creative with myself and just do kind of a, a self-reflective, uh, I don't know, session with myself on a regular basis and create off of everyday experiences in my life. So, you know, some people have to give themselves time to create. So the summertime is really my time to create. I, I don't know why it's that way, but last summer uh, when I created Cute As Fuck, that was, ooh, sorry. That's fine. That's, <laughs> That's fine. a part Just of the title. I'm so sorry. When I created that <laughs> album, I, um, I did that in the summertime. Mm. And for some reason, it's something about the summertime energy. Mm. You know, Megan the Style, you calls it the hot girl the summer. Hot girl summer, you of know. Course, of course. Um, so it, it's something about the energy of the summertime. Maybe me being a Leo. I was just about to say that. I'm yeah. like, that's that's your time. That's you your know? element. So I just I'm I'm the most creative around the summer. I don't know if I'm always gonna be that way, but right now that's but it is. I'm creating. I'm creating a lot of beautiful, beautiful music. I'm really excited about this next project that I'm gonna put out. So I'm just. That's amazing. I'm really excited. That's amazing. <laughs> if you could pick anybody, like um, somebody that you would want to collaborate with, who would that be? Uh, someone who I haven't collaborated with yet, who I want to. A anybody you want. Uh, you could anyone? already have collaborated with them, or uh, somebody that you want to collaborate. Well. With. Yeah. First and foremost, mm -hmm. shout out to Queens All. You know, shout I, out to Queens All. I love Queens All. <laughs> Queens All was here um, a few weeks, a week or two ago. Oh my God, that show was amazing. I loved it. Thank you for coming. I love Queens All. We love Queens All. We love you. I love Queens All. <laughs> Queens All is literally one of the most different artists in Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, when I think of originality, I think Queen Doll. So. Y'all already know Queen Doll is going to be on this project. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. just just wait on it. Another person that I really, really want to work with, uh, there's this rapper in Boston. His name's Young Seuss. He's really talented. He raps. He produces his own music. Super smart kid. Like I've hung out with him several occasions, and I'm just astonished at how smart right. this kid is when it right. comes to music. He's literally a child. <laughs> hip-hop punk prodigy like emo i don't know but he's dope and i've always wanted to work with him so i hope that i before i leave boston um hopefully no time soon but i really hope that i get to work with him he's super talented if you guys never heard his music check him out he's lit All right shout out to young Seuss. yes lit. that sounds like a dope name just alone right there yes you know you think dr Seuss, right i he mean lives up to that name y'all he's definitely good branding exactly that's a smart. really good way to yeah the yeah. super smart super, uh -huh. super 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 smart marketing uh -huh. everything i'm trying to think of who else why try why try is another good artist uh, but more importantly, I want to collaborate with women. Women, where are y'all? Like, I need y'all to come out the woodworks uh, and, and, and and shout it from the rooftops. We are here. I would love to see I you and one of um, my artists that I work with, High Key Doll, do a song together. That would please. Be, like, super cool. That would be super please. cute. <laughs> shout out to High Key Doll. High Key Doll, you already <laughs> sound amazing just by the name, okay? Live, live, live for okay, it. Okay, high key though. You okay, sound lit, girl. <laughs> is there anything that you want um, the people to know as far as like um, any triumphs, um, anything that you had to overcome, anything that you know keeps you as this strong and this much amazing positive energy? Like you guys do not understand. You can feel it in this room. Yes. Just by her alone, she's vibrating like super duper positively. It's amazing energy. Thank you. You guys have no idea. I um I just want to stress to people how important mental health is. Uh, that's something that I've struggled with my entire life. Um, I've never been like um, I've never been to a doctor, or anything of that nature, because we all know how it is in the black community. Right. You know, you got to be strong, and you it's it's a it's a good thing and it's a bad thing because the positives to that is that now I'm this really strong person and I can tackle on my problems head strong and I can actually you know kind of think about things and 
and say to myself, oh my gosh, why am I feeling this way? Okay, I'm feeling this way because of this and that. And I can be honest with myself, which is nice. So I love being a brown woman because it kind of forces you to be just really strong and be open and honest with yourself so that you can get through day to day. Also, in a, in a, a negative side, um, I get a lot of moments where I feel so alone and I feel as if no one's there for me and no one loves me, no one cares. Everyone gets that way though. That's the reality of life. We get depressed, we get into our feelings. And so I just wanna tell people that, yes, there's darkness, everyone goes through them. Even people like me who, who lives their life every single day focusing on positives, I still get negative. I still go, I still, you know, come down on myself and I get really depressed and really stressed out and I cry a lot and it's really sad and, you know, but you have to remember your purpose in life and that's what's going to keep you going. And that's something that I found uh, just moving to Boston, just being in Boston. I've been here for two years, just being here. I figured out my purpose in life and that's something that I want to tell people. If you're down in the dumps, if you're depressed, if you're sad, it's time to figure out what your purpose in life is. Because clearly, bitch, you need, oh, sorry, oh my okay. God, oh my God. Because right. clearly, <laughs> you need, you need something to keep you going. And that, you know, my purpose is music and I want everyone else to find their purpose in life, right. honestly, because right. it's, it's so crucial. <laughs> and, you know, I think that one of the biggest cures of mental health would be for people to figure out their purpose in life. Yeah. There's so many people just working a nine to five. There's so many people really more so focused in battling uh, just financial issues and all types of relationship issues that kind of distract us mm -hmm. from what's really important, which is making sure your spirit is whole, right. making sure your inner, inner being is whole and how do you feed your spirit how do you feed your inner being you feed it by waking up every single day and accomplishing your purpose and going for your purpose and going for your goals i sound like an infomercial but honestly <laughs> you guys it works like, it works oh my god can't believe it <laughs> here's some testimonials okay. from Bill so, no, so, so i so get it i so get it i mean me i've had a therapist for the um past three years mm -hmm. i love her she's like my family now mm -hmm. <laughs> i live for her she's my personal diary i talk about it all the time because that is super important in, in you know, the inner city communities mostly, we don't get exposed to that. We mm -hmm. think that it's a problem. Like, you know what I'm saying? To do that, like, there's a lot that goes behind it. This is not that type of show. Okay. But, <laughs> but, you know, we'll get into that, you know, on um, other episodes. So the next question for Hope for Dope, I love that name. Thank you. <laughs> I love it too. What made you come up with that name? How about that? It was given to me by my high school peers. I got the name in high school. And there's so many people that will say, oh, I gave her that name. I had, I honestly, I think how the name came about, I think one of my teachers in high school uh, said the name to me one day and it was a joke. Everyone thought it was funny because it's corny when, right. when teachers give you a, a nickname. Right. It's more of a pet name. And honestly, right. I was a teacher's pet. So <laughs> it was even worse because I was such a little nerd. I was a teacher's <laughs> pet. And my teacher gave me, you know, the nickname one day and she said it in front of the class and everyone uh, said to themselves, oh my God, hope a dope, ha 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 ha. But I think it took a couple of cool kids to make it stick. Right. So like a couple of cool kids start calling me that. They're like, oh, this is kind of, we kind of like this right, name, Hope and Dope, right. Hope and Dope. And then it kind of just stuck and everyone start calling me It was me probably that. that popular annoying dude. <laughs> probably. <laughs> that was like Hope and Dope. Probably. Hope dope. Like, I'm not quite know. sure who gave it to me. Somebody that's gave so it to lit me. though. That's yeah. super dope. Actually, that's kind of how I got um, Jadon as well was in high school. Started yes. in high school, so. It was like, oh. Those high school names, they stick. Yeah, they if, stick. If they they're really good, do. yeah. Especially if you can click right, click mm -hmm. with it, it becomes amazing. So, <clears throat> you know, when you come to AFAD, I got to get personal, okay? How do you um, handle relationships um, in this industry? 
Um, or do you handle relationships in the industry? Some people choose to be single, like myself. Oh, yeah. This is a great topic that I love to talk about, you guys. <laughs> uh, so, I just got out, not just fresh out, I'm not fresh out of a relationship, but last summer I was in a two-year relationship. And the reason why it ended was because I was doing big things in the music business. So when someone doesn't support you, if someone does not support you, if someone doesn't go to your shows, if someone doesn't listen to your music, they're not a fan. If they're not a fan, what y'all gotta talk about? Because honestly, as a personally, if I were, let's say if I were, uh, I don't know, if I were an engineer, Every day I'll come home, I say, hey, honey, how's your day? I'd right. be like, oh, this engineer job. I would just talk about being an engineer all day. So that, mm -hmm. you know, it's the same with me when I'm a musician. I come home after a long day of being a musician. All I want to talk about is music to my, my, my man, you know? So that was the problem that we encountered was right. he didn't want to talk about music because maybe it intimidated him. Probably. Um, yeah, That's probably usually so. what it is. Yeah, That's what it you is. know? Um, so... It, did, it just didn't work out. So right now, I'm single, and I'm living my best life. I'm having a hot girl summer. Yes. I suggest you try it, too. You try it, too. <laughs> and you, and you. And you, and you. <laughs> and don't forget you. And don't okay. forget all of you. Okay? Um, I'm single right now. It's the best way for me. Um, I love being single. I've always been single. Before my last relationship, I was single i was never uh, single really? this is like my first time being single like i did like poly relationships before and stuff like that too. okay she's like okay <laughs> 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 we got a freak in the I house like, okay little you nasty the house. Okay. listen listen look no, we all like, got our nasty okay okay our nasty okay <laughs> no but like so what do you do like now is it just more so like casual dating like me for instance i'm just like I love going on dates. Mm -hmm. I live for going on dates. I like just having people in my phone now. Like, you know what I'm saying? And just being like, I want this one today. Like, okay, I have fast. choices. Like, you know. <laughs> I absolutely love relationships, and I really want a relationship. Hopeless romance. Low key, oh. you guys. But honestly, there's two sides of hope. There's the romantic side, and there's the dog. So right now, I'm having fun with the dog side of me, you know? You know, I'm being a dog, so like, I just want to have fun. And I think that every woman deserves to give themselves just their own time to just enjoy who they are and masturbate. Can I say masturbate? Um, yeah. All right. I think. I just said it. <laughs> just Play with yourself. With have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, just enjoy yourself. Enjoy who you are. So. Am I focused on men? No, not per se. I don't really care for a man right now because they're a distraction and I'm so focused on my music. Oh my God, And yes. I just love what I'm doing right now with my music. I love the artist that I'm becoming and I honestly, in my heart of hearts, know if I let a man in right now, they're gonna ruin that because that's, yeah, what, they that's do. what they do. <laughs> that's what they do. I'm telling you guys, for real, for that real, that's what they, they do. do. No matter how <laughs> much in control you think you are over your career, but you just have to remember like the heart is can't really be controlled. Like, mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when you fall for somebody and you're still busy trying to do what you're trying to do and then this is not working out, it's still very painful. And when you go through that, it puts you in the um, shadow space, that dark place mm -hmm. that nobody wants to be involved in because there's just too much to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, instead of that, Focus let me just cut life. all of it off. <laughs> you know, like I said, have my options. And well, I'm a dude, so I just, that's what I do. You know, I need my options. I'm a dude, so I need my options. I can't be going to sleep okay. eating off every day. Okay. That's not what we're doing. That's not lit to me. Women okay? will literally be okay with that. We're like, oh, I'm just going to light some candles tonight. <laughs> not the candles. Like, so not the candles. So now every time candle. one of my girls be like, I'm lighting candles, I'm like, oh, you are Oh, okay. She lights some candles tonight. <laughs> You buy yourself like okay. candles. <laughs> oh, we know what she do. We I know what love she it. Do. I love it. You're definitely a fat fam. Of course, you can come back whenever. Thank you, you want so to. much. I really feel like I found a brand new friend. Like you're I'm really truly so amazing. Like you, you really truly are amazing. Thank so, you. <clears throat> what's like, 
next on the agenda as far as, like, I saw you take a few pictures with Queen Dorm. Mm -hmm. You guys was at Vice. I don't know if you can really talk about that yet. Um, or... Everything is just hustle, hustle, hustle. And everything is a work in progress. Every move that I make, I'm making it for the next move in the same with Doll. So, you know, we're two young artists mm -hmm. just trying to make it. And we're kind of just pulling each other up because you, you, need, you need a strong foundation. You need a family. Exactly. And so we kind of dubbed each other as like brother and sister in a oh, way. And we're just pulling it. each other up. So... I think that's a be I think that's beautiful and any artist that's out there, you know, find your tribe, you know. Oh my god, I love that you was <laughs> Yo, I was your just tribe is important. talking about that. No, that's scary that you mm -hmm. like really said that. I was just talking about that yesterday really? to one of my best friends who I've known since the first grade. Wow. She just came back from Miami. We didn't see each other for like over 15 years. Oh my god. And wow. when we sat down, it was like we never skipped a beat. Oh. Oh, yes, I was I talking that. to her about that that whole that same thing. I'm like, you're a part of my tribe. Like, Aww. I really love you. Like, like for real, for real. I'm like, it just it works. Yeah, it, it should feel good mm -hmm. and just so natural. effortless, yeah. right? Natural and just effortless. Like for mm -hmm. real, you guys. Yes. Definitely. If anything is it feels like it's too hard to work on, then you really have to look at it. Like more than likely, it's a lesson. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to say toxic and karmic because you guys know I don't like to use that word too much. Let it like out. Let it out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't like to use that too much, but lessons. I like to say lessons because that's yes. what they really are. When you look yes. at it for what it is, it's really a lesson. You know, whether yes. regardless on how toxic or karmic it, really, it was, but it makes you stronger. It helps you grow. Um, it really actually teaches you your value. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. once you learn your value, then it's like you become unstoppable. Like, mm -hmm. sky's the limit after that, you know? Exactly. Seriously, it's it's important. Mm -hmm. Super it's important. So important. Is there anything else that you want your fans to know? You still have a little bit I more just, time, you guys. Yeah, she's gonna be here for a little bit more. Guys. I just want my fans to know that I love y'all. Y'all been super supportive. You know, just on my Instagram because I know I've been just on this, you know, hiatus right now. I've been kind of out of the scene. I've been trying to keep up to date with you guys, just letting you guys know just little things that I'm doing. Um, I try to I try to mask that with uh, modeling sometimes. <laughs> it works. <laughs> no, but it works. That last picture that you took, <laughs> I was you. like, <laughs> it was like the wedding one. Yes. It was amazing. Thank you. It was so like the runaway good. bride type thing. Yes. It was. That's what it gave me. I, I was like, okay. oh, she's giving me very runaway bride. Okay. okay thank <laughs> you so much. I um I really uh I just want to just be a vessel of inspiration to people right now. Honestly, that's, I think that's just my purpose in life and my goal in life. And that's something that I've always struggled with my whole life was figuring out who am I? What do I want to do with my life? What is, Aww. what is life? You know, and it, it leaves you in such a dark space. And that's a dark space that I, I've come out of and I never want to see anyone get into because it's it's a terrible space to be in so yeah. um i just want to just teach my fans that because i i talk to my fans every day and i just talk to people every day on instagram in general and so many people ask me oh my god you know how are you able to do this how are you able to do that like how do i be get into modeling or how do i get into music or i want to try this new thing out how what would you suggest that I do? And I always try to give people business advice mm -hmm. because that's what they expect and that's what they really want. Right. But people don't necessarily think about the mental capacity that you need to get into the, the, the music business. Mm -hmm. And it starts from within, you guys. It really starts from... Ooh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. It starts it from right within. There. It starts from... <clears throat> It starts from your your spirit. Yeah, absolutely. Your spirit has to be right. Your soul has to be right. Mm -hmm. Your mind has to be right. And that's with anything in this world. Anything in this world. Um, your mind, your spirit should be first on your list to just look out for. Absolutely. And I, I think that in the world that we live in today, especially, oh my God, I see so much... I don't want to get into politics or all, all the craziness of the world, but we all know there's a lot of craziness going on in the world, 
it's enough to drive us crazy. It's enough to make us go insane. And I just want people to know that you have to focus on your soul. You got to make sure you right. That's the only way that we're going to overcome all the stuff that we're dealing with is to make sure that we're, we as an individual, we're good, that we're, we're right in the head. Because there's so many crazy people out here who just are sick, who are not right in the head. And, and we, I, just, we gotta just pray for them. Yeah, we meditate for them. Lord, please, Lord, please, for them. All Universe, of them. SOS. But I, I want my music to heal. You know, I want people to listen to my music. I want them to be able to see themselves in it. Um, so that's just what I'm focused on right now. I'm focused on really just talking to the people. And I, my next project, that's what it's all about, is just talking to y'all. And of course, I'm gonna put my spin on it. And of it's gonna course. be a little ratchet. Of it's course. gonna be a little crazy. Of course. And we're gonna turn up and we're gonna have a good time. But we're also gonna d- dwell into some, some dark spaces. <clears throat> and I just wanna touch bases on just some things that I personally have been going through, you know? Nice. And so I just want people to know hey, the next project is, is gonna be it's gonna be bigger than my last one. And it's not gonna be what y'all expect, so I don't okay. know. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to tell y'all because it's completely different from my last project. Because I just I really wanted to put my spirit into this one. I mm-hmm. wanted y'all to really see hope of dope, and not just the dope side of me, the fun side of me, but I also want to be want you guys to see the more spiritual side of me because that's what really keeps me going every single day. Honestly, like, oh my god, I love her already. <laughs> I love her already. Y'all don't understand. Like, this is definitely meant to be. Thank okay, you. period. <laughs> Thank you again, Queen Doll, because that's for real. Like, Thank oh my god, I appreciate so much. this. Shout out to you. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so, all right, we're gonna wrap this up yeah. in a few. So, let me ask you one more question. Okay. Um, you already told me that you're a Leo. Mm-hmm. Everybody already knows I'm a Virgo. I always talk about that. Okay. Um, what's something that people don't know about you? Like that, it could be something big, small. Like you know, it could be your favorite food, favorite color. Like you know, mm, what's something, something that you don't talk about enough, or you kind of that I don't talk about enough that people don't know about me. Mm-hmm. Mm, you know, you guys, I. I mean, I talk about the fact that I love to cook. Everyone knows that I love to cook. We were just talking about that. I'm definitely, I love to cook, so that's nothing. Um, Let me think. She made fried chicken yesterday, y'all. You guys, I'm such an open book, and I try to, I I really try to um, be one. Um, Should I get deep with it, or just You can. That's that's totally um, up to you. So... Because all the silly stuff, I'm just an open book about. But something about me that no one knows is that um, I battled with drugs for a long time. And that's something that I've always wanted to talk to people about and just to tell people about. I don't think we have enough time to really talk about it uh, too much. <clears throat> but We got like five minutes. <laughs> all right, cool. Perfect. Boom. Um, <laughs> I know that in today's society... Drugs are really, I know Hope of Dope is in my name, and drugs are really put out there as um, a way of releasing, you know, and opening up your mind. And um, But there, there's a dark side to them. You know, they're fun, they're exciting, you have a good time, but there's also a really dark side to them. And that was something I experienced for years. Um, you know, my early 20s was... Like I said, it was a point in my life where I didn't know who I was, where I was going, what I was doing. So I turned to, to drugs. I experimented with a lot of drugs. and Like all different types of all drugs? All dis- different types <clears throat> of drugs, y'all. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was a party girl. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> but I, what I want you guys... She said, Mama got a okay, pass. Okay, <laughs> Mama, Mama was getting lit. Hope was getting lit tea in the city. Um... But what I want you guys to know is that um, that's another distraction, yo. So what do you want to do with your life? Do you want to do drugs? Do you want to just live your life partying? 
and not really seeing the beauty of the world because I we all know when you take drugs you the, the world looks prettier or whatever but what about when you sober what about appreciating life when you sober what about really finding out who you are and not hiding away from it those are the people I want to talk to the people like me who use drugs drugs as a coping mechanism who use that as a way to just run away from your life and from your issues what do you have you have nothing go find your purpose go find your reasoning to live go find your yo i gotta wake up every day and do this go find that don't the moment you say to yourself wow i'm doing a lot of this drug like that's when you need to figure out your purpose, girl. Like, get you a hobby. Well, I'm doing a lot get of you something this drug to do. Now. Like, seriously. Right. And that's real talk. And the same thing goes for alcohol, it. too. Yes. That, that was my choice of mm-hmm. thing was alcohol. Like, everybody knows that. And I still, I still get into my drinks now. Okay. I ain't going to be no say about it. You know okay. what I'm saying? But I definitely Welcome calm down a lot. I know what I have to do. Like, you know, I'm, I'm grown about it now. Exactly. Where before it was just I was a child and just I want to be drunk every day all the time and I didn't care it just made me feel super more comfortable you know dealing with anxiety like my anxiety will pop all out the blue like you know what I'm saying and when it does it's like immediately I'm like oh my god I need to look exactly no I'm the same way like oh I need a drink I used to be like that too and it's just uh, it was so unhealthy for me Mm -hmm. and I literally I was still I was still lying to myself saying to myself oh you're pursuing music you're you're doing this you're doing that because i would do a little bit here and a little bit there Mm -hmm. but i wasn't doing that every day and it's an everyday battle that's so true and i'm just grateful i'm so grateful because nowadays the old me i had like i have uh, a friend come up to me the other day and was just like yo i got some uh somali you want to do somali and I was thinking, like, oh, man, it's been so long since the, man, I'm just <laughs> oh, like, a good oh time. God. What I got to right. do? Okay. I really ain't got much to do. But, right. no, I had so much to do. The project ain't due till you know? October. Okay. And the old me would have would have said, screw it. Let, let's do this. Let's turn up. It's the weekend, you know? Right. Eh, Friday. Eh. Right. You know, but the new me. I, I say to myself, wow, I, I got to get up. I got to make sure I respond to this email. I got to make sure I can figure out what I'm going to do for this music video. I got to finish this move or I got to yeah. do this, 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 this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When you have things to do, you aren't thinking about the things you could be doing instead mm-hmm. that is not even conducive to making sure you get that big house in the hills. You feel me? So focus on your focus, focus on your business, focus on that bag, sweetheart, that bag. Everyone wants to talk about the bag. Mm -hmm. Focus on it, harness in on it, you know? And just because, you know, you're young now, you're not young forever. So think about that, you guys. What you're doing now, yeah, you're having fun, you're partying, but are you getting to that bag? Because when you're 27, like me, you don't want to just now start getting to the bag and realizing things that you should have realized when you were 18, doing a bunch of mouth. That is so crazy. So now I'm going to leave that as, I'm going to leave that as your advice from a distance because I'm going to take it from there to say this, because I hear this all the time. I work with a lot of younger people that like, you know, feel like they have all the time in the world. No, you do not, mm-hmm. baby. No, you do Tiny not. And then it's like... <laughs> So many ups and downs. Like I've had so many ups where I'm like all the way up, and then you come down. It's like that's the way life works. Mm-hmm. That's the way it goes. Like you know, you really have to get out there, experience, put in that work. Now, if you're not in school, you're old enough. Okay, mm-hmm. then then it, you don't got no more time. Once you get out of school, there's no more time. Life starts to hit you like this. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you hit that 25 mark. Mm-hmm. You end up like Facts. me and wake up with a 12 year old daughter. Okay. okay? Facts, man. Time goes by. Shout out to my daughter, though. Okay. <laughs> and I still, I can remember just being young and just doing crazy stuff and just thinking, oh, I'm young, I'm having fun. And yeah, you're young and you're having fun, but you have, you have to think about your future. Absolutely. You have to. No more of this. No more of this. You only live once. No more. You know YOLO, what I'm saying? Because listen, cool you guys, stuff. all that music that we listened to when we were kids, Drake is an adult now and he is living his life and he's making a lot of money doing it. So while he was making music telling you guys to stop paying attention to life, he was actually paying attention to life. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So you have to look at that. You can't you can't 
let what other people say influence you. Have your own mindset and do the just do what's best for you. Like at the end of the day, focus on you. If it if it's if a relationship's holding you back, if drugs are holding you back, if friendships are holding you back, if your nine to five is holding you back. Hell, Whatever if your mama's is holding, holding you, you back, back, okay. If your mama, because mama's will hold you back. Shout out to my mama, though. We Shout out to my mama, too. My mama's good. My mama's good. Okay. Uh, mama real chill now, but she used to. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Okay. No, but I want to thank you again for coming. Thank you for um, having me. Please go follow Hope Adult. Ah. Go follow Jadon Jacep. Oh my God, you guys, ah. there's so much more to come. Keep um on the lookout for the new product that's coming out. Yes. She will definitely be coming back when that releases. Okay. So I'll definitely have you back again. And I just want to say love, peace, and abundance. Okay. Be amazing, you guys. We love you. Bye. Mwah.